everyone, it's me again. Um, I don't know if you were able to get the first tutorial of the watercoloring um, technique, and I am so sorry, but that came out upside down. So my son and I worked really, really hard here in the kitchen to uh, um, get this so that it's perfect. And um, uh, I'm going to be lifting up things as I go to show you what they are. So. Uh, couldn't find some things, but that's okay. Uh, instead of doing the embossing technique, we are going to do the shaving technique. So, wifeys, get out your husband or boyfriend's shaving cream because you're going to really like this. This is really cool. So, you're going to need a tray, shaving cream, paper towel because it gets super messy your rubber stamps of choice. It just so happens I'm going to do a bear thank you card. My family calls my husband Big Bear. You're going to need um, some inks like alcohol inks. Um, no, oh goodness, you can't really see that. Anyway, some alcohol inks or you can use regular food coloring. I've done this technique using food coloring. Um, Again, the Distress Ink, I don't know if you remember, well, I can't really see this either, Distress Ink, what I used in the watercoloring uh, for distressing technique that I did in the last video, and or you could use just regular colored ink pad. And the colors I chose today are blue, just a basic blue, and a green. But for those of you who are specific, um, with the Tim Holtz Adirondack Bright Alcohol Ink. The green is citrus. And I'm also using peeled paint. And for the blue, I'm using sailboat blue. And, uh, goodness, this is hard to do. And tumbled glass. So for those of you who are into rubber stamping and into... Uh, card making and know the different technology that you know whatever stuff products that's what I'm using and um, also I think I'm gonna do a uh, little stickles they call it what in all honesty all this is is glitter glue with just a really fancy name on it and a high-end price tag and then again we're gonna use stays on because it stays on. Um, and then of course your cardstock. So this card is your standard A2 card and I cut it so that because it's a dark card you want a light layer inside so that the person receiving the card can read the sentiment inside. And so when I cut it I turn down, I doggy eared the top going down and I'll show you why in a few minutes. And then I cut my piece of white cardstock because it's going to go under like this. Just like that. And that looked cool already. Okay. Here's the fun part. Oh, and I don't think I said you definitely need a toothpick. And possibly a pencil. I don't know. It's there. So I'm going to shake. Made somebody dizzy. You're going to shake up your shaving cream and you're just going to like slather it. See, like this. All over the place. Okay, it smells. And so you got to kind of look like, get it like really thinned out like that. And it's messy. Okay. Then you're going to take your colors. Like I said, you can use food coloring if you want. 
and just put a couple drops here and I'm going to show you in a second so I know you can't really see it now but I'll show you what I did. I'm going to take some green or citrus citrus dabble that on I'm going to put a little bit more blue. And I think maybe some of you get, are getting the idea as to what I'm going to be doing right now. So I put that on the tray like this, and so it's like all speckled. It looks like shaving cream, shaving cream with chicken pox. And I'm just going to... Swirl that in like that, like that. Big goopy mess. Every time I do this, I think of when I was back in daycare, and you did the marble paint, where you put the the uh, the paint in the um, tray, and then you took the marble and you rolled it all over the place. Okay, so anyway, this is like really smelly and disgusting. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and you guessed it I am going to dab it and put it in the shaving cream and then I'm going to take it off and this is really gross this is really really gross and I'm going to wipe it off. And this is disgusting. But don't worry, it it does dry off. Ugh. This is like a really cool project for like people that want to get, you know, down and dirty and gross and and I'm just going to kind of <laughs> make more of a mess. This is messy. Really, really messy. And gross. And sometimes you need to have like two or three pieces of paper towel to get this stuff off. So what I'm going to do and see what that looks like. It kind of looks really yucky, but you'll see what happens. That's the other side. That's this side. But we have to let this dry because it's really soaking wet and it's not going to adhere to the other paper. So we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 